Hey everyone, this is Brad Royball. I'm back again with another video for TL's Intro to Programming. Um, so what I'm going to show today is how to do Lab 1.4, which is called Sprites in Action. Um, so the very first part of the lab is called Run Spot Run, and this kind of shows off ways that we can, um, you know, change these sprites on the stage using programming. So we're going to change this sprite over here and make it interactable with um, user input. So as we can see, I've already imported Dog to A. To get to this import selection for costumes, you go to costumes right here after clicking the file icon, and that'll bring up this screen right here. Simply click the icon that you want to import and click import. So this is great because uh, Teals, or I'm sorry, Snap has such a wide array of different icons to work with. You can kind of create your own, uh, you know, scenery from them without having to import anything yourself. So I'm going to click cancel now that I'm done, and I'm going to start with Dog 2B. Um, so the first part of this lab, what we want to do is basically make the sprite change costume every single time that a button is pressed. So we know um, from one of our earlier videos that we can do uh, control, we can use input using these blocks right here. So right now, space is the exact key that I want to track. And I want to go ahead and add something that will change the costume every single time I press the space bar. So we're going to go over to our purple menu right here, looks. This can change um, the stuff that you see on the screen. That's sort of the main idea. And I'm going to expand it just a little bit of this looks tab. So I'm going to grab switch the costume, which is the exact thing that I want. I'm going to put it right here. Um, now you can see I'm on a costume right now. I'm going to go ahead and double check which one. I'm on dog 2A. So when I press space, I actually don't want to use switch to costume because that'll ask me for a specific input. I want to click next costume. If I were to use switch to costume, um, that would apply a specific action. So if I click space, it would go to, let's say, dog 2 b every time. The only problem with that is every time I click space, it can only go to dog 2 b It won't switch back between them. So now that I have this, though, I can easily make the dog change costumes. You can see it changing right here on the right every single time I hit the space bar. Now it looks like it's walking in place. Um, the next part of this lab is also we want to add code so that when we press the left and right key, we actually make the dog move, but it also makes the dog look like it's walking. Right now, we can see it looks like he's just walking in place, but we also want to be able to uh, you know, apply movement to this as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the most obvious part of this script, which is to do input. I know I'm going to need input for my left and right key, so I'm just going ahead and add that right now. I'll put that as left arrow, and I'll put this as right arrow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to motion and I want to make him, let's say move 10 steps. I feel like that's the right one to go with. I'm gonna switch the order of these so they make a little bit better sense in my head. So you can see now anytime the right arrow is pressed, the dog will simply move 10 steps. Um, now the issue with this is I also wanna make him switch different costumes. I'm gonna duplicate the piece of code I have right here. And so every time I press the right arrow, makes my dog look like I'm moving to the right. Now, of course, he'll eventually go off screen, so I'm gonna pull him back right here to the middle. Um, now, what I also wanna do is I wanna do this for the left arrow key as well. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do the same thing. I'm gonna duplicate everything I have. Now, you see the only issue with this is that he's still facing to the right. So now every time I hit the left key, as I'm doing now, it's still just moving to the right, and it looks like he's walking. So what I wanna do is add another step in motion to both of these scripts so that now I can change what direction my dog points in. So I'm gonna go right here, click point in direction, do the drop down, click to the left right here, and add my script. Now I can see when I move to the left, my dog's walking. Only problem is he's walking upside down. So before I move any further, I'm gonna go ahead and um, get the same direction right here and click that. And then I'm actually going to make him point in the direction to begin with. So you can see 90 degrees right here is to the right. That's where I want to go. Um, one thing you can do to make your stripes stay um, so that they can only face left or right is actually use these useful controls right here. So what I want is so that the dog can only face left and right instead of what I had before, which is that they can rotate. So now when I have these two, what should happen is if I press to the right, you can see my dog walks. And now when I press to the left, Instead of turning upside down, my dog is simply walking to the left. And that is how you do the first part of lab 1.4.